All right, all right. Hello, everyone. And now, welcome to a game between... Well, who is this going to be between? You guys already know. It is Lin and Shao Kai taking place here on Twisted Meadows. We have Shao Kai spawning as... Well, the red human over here on the top right-hand side of the map. Meanwhile, Lin... I am going to go ahead and switch... Uh, switch views is spawning over here on the bottom left as the blue orc. Orc versus human in this 1v1 matchup. No big surprises. Most likely going to be an archmage going up against a blade master. I did look very hard for a game that did not have night elf. So for all of you guys out there who are waiting for a game without night elf, well, here you go. I'm also going to probably go back and renumber my videos. It's been a long time since I've done that. And it feels like maybe I'm just getting a little bit lazy in terms of all of my YouTube uploads. So not much to say there either. I'm just really waiting for Warcraft 3 Reforged to release, hoping that um, if there are any events nearby in Irvine, which I, I believe they would have it. I mean, that's where they're making the game. Um, you know, reach out, reach out to me. I know there are a lot of viewers out there um, in the community who who are higher up on the list, but you know what? I'm a very low hanging fruit since I do well pretty much live right here. Anyways, let's go ahead and break things down. It is going to be an Archmage. Footmen are going to be trained up, waiting to see if we're going to be going for an Arcane Vault and the timing. This is going to be full cross spawns. And one thing I did notice is that this Altar of Kings was not spet built. Normally in days of old patch 1.29, you would put an additional peasant on the Altar of Kings early on. And then what you could do then is get your Archmage down 15 seconds earlier. By doing so, you would come into here, clear out this creep camp, maybe even get a Tome of Experience, almost netting you level 3, and then follow it up with some additional plays. That isn't the case this time around. Archmage actually ran a good distance before dropping the Water Elemental and now going after the Forest Shoal High Priest. Meanwhile, the Footman purposely aggroed uh, the Rock Golem here, and what this does is it's really dealing a lot of damage over here to the Forest Shoal High Priest first. Now, unfortunately for him, he does end up... Thank you for the bits... Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, he unfortunately, he did have the additional armor from that inner fire. The Tome of Experience now are going to be dropped here. Almost going to get level 2. In days of old, before, I believe it was patch 1.27, you could actually get to level 3 if you picked up that item. It almost became an auto win if you got the Sobi Mask and that Tome of Experience since the Archmage was then dropping level 2 water elementals inside your base um, right around the 3 minute mark which was very very dangerous. Uh, Zam, uh, thank you for go going ahead and those bits. Every little bit does definitely help. Um, yeah, just I, I guess I'm like playing a lot more magic and now I realize like wait no I'm gonna end up spending money so um yeah I, I guess you guys are funding my habit until Warcraft 3 Reforge does come out if something does come of it that would be absolutely great but I do definitely appreciate um the bits right there um if you guys want to earn bits you can always watch ads if you are in the U.S. and you can earn like five or ten bits every so often and and to send them my way. Anyways, Blade Master gonna go ahead and clear out this 533 creep camp. However, the footmen are actually getting in a large bit of damage onto this uh, Blade Master. Blade Master now down to 146 hit points. Healing salve gonna be used here. Archmage is trying to chase after all of those units, and instead it's gonna buy distance. I like this play by Shao Kai. He's gonna be bringing in footmen and water elemental into the actual base while the Blade Master is having a little bit of trouble. He is he was low on hit points. Let's take a look at this peasant. It's not going to go ahead and try and engage. But now this is going to be a little bit too deep right now. I believe this poor footman is going to end up getting taken down. There it goes. Massive repair is now underway. Peons all over here. This low hit point footman is going to be able to back away in time. But really, this is so, so deep that by the time um, you realize that your peasant or your footman is actually taking damage, he may not be able to make it out since, well, the spears are dealing that much damage right there. One more shot. There it goes. And Shao Kai may have bitten off more than he can chew. Level 3 on the Archmage. Level 2 Water Elementals dropping in damage, but it's just not going to be enough. Water Elemental getting taken down there. Peons now out. And the Blade Master getting a little bit of extra experience after all of that 
Now over here to the top right, Arcane Vault's nearly done. We are going to get to Tier 2 and we should be looking into Casters. Meanwhile, are we going to be looking into Spirit Walkers? That is the follow-up question. The Torin Totem in addition to that Bestiary, a very strong 1-2 punch as the Torin Totem does get taken or does get placed down. Spirit Walkers with Spirit Link, very, very powerful for all of these high hit point orc units. Anytime you can spread out all of that damage, well, focus fire is gonna be a little bit uh, difficult. How many games will I cast? Um, I don't know, if I, if I get to uh, 25 viewers, I will go ahead and cast three. I think I'm planning on casting two games, which, well, is already gonna be about at least 45 minutes. Anyways, Footman now pulling back across here. Grunt's gonna try and engage. Speed scroll now being used in order to take down this Footman. Footman may end up getting a wind walk strike and an additional slice in the back as the grunts are now able to micro away. Lin is just playing at an incredibly high level right now, able to deal so much damage while protecting his own units. But with all of that said and done, he still is behind on supply. Healing salves now being used here, but once the Shadow Hunter in addition to the Spirit Walkers are out onto the field, I believe it will be a different match. We are going into dual arcane sanctums, sorcerers, sorceresses, priests, and spellbreakers. All going to be very useful here. You see a lot of low hit point footmen just waiting for a scroll of regeneration back at home. Blade Master looking. Oh, could have gotten the final shot off there if it was trying to. Let's take a look as the footmen now racing back away from that Blade Master. Blaze, um, Blade Master getting in another, uh, I believe that was yeah, a decent critical strike right there. The first critical strike rather low, um, lower on the 27 hit point side as we are now looking at the Mountain King engaging. Mountain King does have a scroll of regeneration right here. Militia now joining in on the fight as well. This low hit point footman has to be extremely careful as the Militia still fighting and battling it out right now. Mountain King is going to be able to finish off the Null Overseer. Yes, it will. Gloves of Hay, scroll of regeneration. Mountain King just shy of level 2. Meanwhile, the Archman now with boots of speed and dust of appearance well it has to be a little bit careful shadow hunter makes its way out onto the field a blade master at the opposite end hoping to pick off some easy units mountain king i don't know if he is going for a thunderclap or um thunderclap or stormbolt low hit point oh there it goes there's another wind walk strike right there archmage gets in one or two fireballs but dropped pretty much a needless water elemental right here this water elemental is not going to really benefit the human army he'd probably wish that he had the mana more than anything else this water elemental getting in maybe well no damage so far as we're looking to clear out the goblin um the goblin merchant shop down across here all right, Ogre Warrior going to get taken. Or, well, there goes another shot. Level 2 now on that Mountain King. Mountain King level 2. Meanwhile, Blade Master is down across over here. Are we going to see some easy kills? Tome of Strength plus 2. Mountain King does pick it up. Blade Master is going to try and steal some experience. No, that is simply just walking by. Blade Master is revealed with a dust of appearance and says, you know what? I'll just win, walk, strike that anyways and get some experience and get something for all of my effort. Rova Magi now on the Mountain King getting in a lot more mana, but more or and just as important, all of that mana regeneration. Each point increases mana, uh, mana regeneration slightly and then when you add in the brilliance aura on the archmage all of a sudden that mountain king feels like he can be throwing storm bolts and thunderclaps for days and well all of that mana comes back fresh and renewed all right mountain king and does he have a clarity potion no he does not archmage still has a clarity potion and ready to go as we're gonna look at an engagement down here at the other goblin merchant shop 45 supply compared to 43 grunt could end up getting taken down the shadow hunter needs to get to level three down oh down to 54 hit points down to 49 44 very dangerous right now i believe he's actually taking damage and no, being forced all the way back now. That Spirit Link really saving him right there. Level 2 Healing Wave most likely will be used. Meanwhile, Blade Master off to the north here. Still trying to do a bit of stealing and does get in another shot. More damage to be had. Forest Troll Trapper going to get taken down. There it goes. Mountain King still seen at level 2. Potion of Lesser Invulnerability and a Boots of Speed. Back off over here to the top right. We are going into the Sorceress's Adept Training in addition to the Spellbreakers. 
um, already now having invisible. Footman now trying to run back here. Water Elemental going to be taking a large amount of damage. But what you want to do is you want to make sure that your back is not exposed to your opponent. That's the reason for this particular positioning pulling those units away as we're going to take a look what rock golem could get tail blade master is right there did blade master get the item i'm not 100 sure it looks like he got that consumable one the mana stealing as the blade master now going to engage once more blade master mountain king both sides are fighting no thunderclap that i can see we could be looking at a storm bolt here there's a disenchant more battling raging on what is the mountain king doing the mountain king should have been using some storm bolts he has so much mana right now that does not make sense to me the mountain king um, is well king of that frontline battle and he had plenty of mana to go all right mountain king now finally engaging grunt looks like it's going to get taken down down to 100 and 102 hit points down to 92 mountain king throws the storm bolt gets healing um, healing in time and in addition there was that uh, extra amount of uh, well hit points because of that spirit link saving that grunt right there big thunderclap across multiple units mountain king currently is invisible D did end up losing a bit of mana as well from the one of mana stealing from the blade master mountain king now low on mana stormbolt onto a grunt grunt could end up getting taken down one or two more shots there it goes mountain king finally gets to level three has a good amount of mana because of that level up and now at getting closer to 75 75 is that magic number for that mountain king to continue to be effective priest no one really bothering to heal that mountain king mountain king in that front line low hit point grunt is it off over there mountain king could have thrown a storm bolt what is it doing oh gets in a thunderclap but healing wave counteracts that pretty much instantaneously mountain king is in trouble and wow shao kai really just did not do a good job there at all all right continuing to try and fight let's take a look down to 19 hit points ends up surviving in snare onto a spellbreaker and well well played well played by lin lin now into low upkeep right now 53 supply over 60 compared to 45 over 60 no one yet has set up an expansion we are going into more spell breakers as well and we should be resurrecting or is the mountain king yeah already resurrected archmage with that brilliance or are gonna try and get that mountain king a bit more mana meanwhile priest all in the backfield here did, does not have the adept training as of yet so could run out of mana much more quickly all right going after a rather difficult creep camp right now mountain king does it have bloodlust who who has the bloodlust right now the spell breakers should be able to spell steal giving inner fire to that mountain king a gem of health Kagar's gem of health on the mountain king that is going to be extremely helpful but the mountain king still needs to heal back up significantly first archmage may actually want the gem of health um, as the Archmage, uh, well, is often a weak, weak unit in that and often targeted by the Orc army. All right, Forest Troll High Priest already out of mana. Same goes for the other Mountain King. Um, Gem of Health, Mountain King sitting at level 3. Drops another Water Elemental. Where are the units all going? Both sides are going to come across each other. Spellbreaker walking. Going to get ensnared and losing 3 supply. Being at the wrong place at the wrong time. Spellbreaker removing some of the mana from that Blade Master. At least a little bit of dying effort. Meanwhile, Army now shows up to the party. Squirrel Town Portal. Uh, Stormbolt right there. Mountain King in that front spot. Is, is he going to try and Thunderclap? He could Thunderclap and at least slow down some of those attacks. Invisibility followed by a quick disenchant aoe mountain king storm bolts onto that unit there trying to pull back into a favorable spot peons out onto the field however thunderclap dealing a massive amount of damage here slow plus clap means all of those units are moving around very slowly all right let's take a look at this drops the robe of magi picks it back up after using a potion of mana another thunderclap comes across here all of these peons are slowed but they are not actually spirit linked so it doesn't really matter there it's not really doing damage to the majority of the army mountain king still fighting its way through you see a lot of damage coming across here mountain king could be going for another thunderclap no yes but it doesn't do the damage as you saw the squirrel of healing healing up multiple units mountain king in a little bit of trouble trying to run back across over here getting to get in there there is another thunderclap again what is the mountain king doing he is just hiding off over here he is currently invisible meanwhile blade master joining in and finishing off priest after priest after priest priest looks like it will be able to get back in on the inside healing wave continues to heal back up more units and the spellbreaker stealing that spirit link 
a big, big deal. Mountain King looking to try to finish off some units. Sorceresses and Priest try to finish off another Grunt. Our, our Archmage sitting at 24 hit points. He is invisible. Disenchant, what is going on? Mountain King gets taken down, and that is the game. Lin taking out Shao Kai. Archmage was low on hit points. Footman, uh, sorry, Mountain King was taken out, and there is the victory there. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I think Shao Kai um, just overextended a bit at times, lost a little bit more than he expected to, and then was playing well with a bit of uh, playing a bit of catch up throughout. His army was significantly behind in terms of damage on the heroes and also level on the heroes. He was also behind Lin as well. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.